you're running a strategic project or program, how do you know how much your project is going to cost? If you don't know, you'll need to know, and whether your spending is on track. You probably have a pretty good idea of what activities need to happen in what order, but how do you go about converting that into money? Here's a whistle-stop financial fitness program. Stop 1. Gather information. Some of your activities will be charged on a time and materials basis, so that's a day rate multiplied by a number of days. Others will be straightforward purchases. Whichever type it is, make a list of the amounts, who they are due to and when they are due to be paid. Step 2. Build a model. If you tag the transactions with metadata, so things like spend type, capex, opex, uh, supplier name, that kind of thing, you can slice and dice the data in all sorts of different ways. This enables you to build reports tailored to individual stakeholders. It's a bit tricky uh, and a bit too complicated to go into into this video, but you get the idea. Stop 3. Keep everything updated. So what you do here is you need to compare what you actually spent with what you planned to spend and what you were authorised to spend. If necessary, make adjustments to what you plan to spend in the future to make sure that you stay within your authorised limits. Stop 4. Report to stakeholders. Keep interested parties up to date with how you're doing against your expectations and what you're doing to remain within your authorisation limits. your suppliers. Sounds obvious, right? But you need to make sure that after you've done all this, all the people who are working on the project actually get paid for what they do. So you need to make sure that you follow whatever processes are set out by your organisation's finance function and get invoices approved in the right way to make sure that your suppliers get paid. Otherwise, they'll very quickly become your ex -suppliers. So that's a whistle-stop tour of how to keep your program financially fit. If you're a program director that could use some help with this kind of stuff, then why not take a look at our financial framework, case study and service description, and follow or connect for more Pragmatic PMO videos.